I pulled a boneheaded move and broke the handle on my steel MS-261 chainsaw. And so I had to replace the handle. It was a little bit more complicated than I thought. It's not real difficult once you know what to look for, but I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a heads up on what to look for when you're replacing the handle. So there are six bolts that you gotta pull off. This one is hidden. You, don't, you won't understand why for the moment, but if you go on and unscrew this one, I'm not gonna undo all of them, but I will undo this one so that you can see the most difficult part of getting the old handle off your saw. Then you've got these two screws, which are obvious, you'll notice them very easily. And you've also got these two right there. The one other one that you don't see initially, you've got to take your cover off Still makes it incredibly easy to pull your top cover off with these quarter turn nut. But the final screw that you've got to pull out is just behind your spark plug cover. That's it right there. It holds that spring on to give you a little bit of flexibility. The most difficult part that you'll find, you've got a spring right there. So here's the part it sits in there just like this. You've got the two screws there that you pull out and that first screw that I showed you on the other side of the bar screws into this. Initially it'll look like you've got to take your oil tank off but you do not. What happens is you've got this spring and once you undo the screw on the other side of the bar you can pry that spring out of course, I don't have those two screws out, but you can lift that spring up, pry it out, and that allows you to take the rest of the handle off once you have those two screws out. It's a little bit of a trick to get the new handle on, especially since it's not broken. What I found to be the easiest thing, I got it rough, I got the handle roughly in place. I put these two screws on hand tight. Then I put these two screws in and mounted. There's a little, a little, that little tab is just inset inside the little gas can, can holder there. And I set all of that in place. Then I tightened it all down. I put this back in there just pried it in there picked it up pried it in there and then i was able to put and then i was able to put that screw back on there that one you've got to have it turned just right because it's a fine thread screw and finally the last thing i put the screw in that goes right here it holds that spring in place uh, for the handle but it also holds that chain guard uh, that chain protector chain guard if in place as well so that's just a quick tip of how to replace your handle it's very easy to do you don't have to pull a whole lot of stuff apart but it's, it's not quite as easy to do as you would initially think so if you break your handle on your steel chainsaw it's easy to replace but it does take just a moment to do it beforehand